Okay, I'm going to start with something. I bought this knife sharpener, but because of the humidity of the country I live in, Nigeria, it doesn't sharpen the knife. So my solution is to use it against the tiles. I hate blunt knives, you know why? It cuts worse and it's painful on the brain when you're having to deal with things. So easy slicing. I'm going to start with pickling onions. I've got some vinegar, would have been good if I had, um, the knife isn't sharp enough, pray, pray, what the pray, just to make it today, that's how we pray, pray, pray. We got to pray just to make it today. I said we pray. Yeah, we pray. Pray. I said we pray. Pray. Oh, yeah, we pray. We got to pray just to make it today. I said we pray. And yeah, we pray. They got to pray just to make it today. I said we pray. Yeah, when you're making samples for shows, you like need to plan before doing a show of any kind. It takes time and it takes money. So how do you get that done? I don't have the Chinese axe, so I have to use what I have. But you know what, some producers, when I went to go and meet them about the Startup City show, they told me it wasn't good enough. So I guess the opportunity is lost there. Some people, when you have to speak to them about ideas, what happens in their mind initially is disbelief because there's a preconceived notion that children cannot cook, beautiful women cannot cook, or women who, who talk, who are speakers cannot cook. You know what? Most everybody know how to cook. It's a passion, just as much as a necessity. Basic foods is very easy to make. I don't like to cut onions in rings. I prefer it this way. Depending on who wants what, you can separate it in bits. So, um, this is the same thing in business. You have to think of varieties of ways on how to approach your market. And this doesn't come in at the beginning, simply because until you make trial and error, who is going to pay you for that error? Error moments, error time. Yeah? So do I slice or dice it? Do I waste my time right now? Not really. 
there are perfectionists in the industry enough we need to create examples and samples of things for the next generation to work on so all the in unperfect unperfect things can always be remade and are always useful so yeah I here I take vinegar and I simply load it on the onion depending on what strengths you need there are different types of uh, vinegars there is the red vinegar apple cider you can use you can pickle your onions even in coca-cola you can pickle anything in any soda nobody says that you shouldn't in this case i'm going to add some maggi which is like the nigerian soy sauce i prefer it to salt because when you are hypertensive using using salt is uh, is dangerous you need to know your diet could add some little black pepper to add some black pepper in it you could add a little bit of water to dilute it so that it doesn't become too tangy You can even preserve your foods in teas. <laughs> yes, normal, either Earl Grey or green, green tea. It's a different taste. That's how foods had evolved. So, assuming that uh, things are not possible is only in the mind of the person that doesn't want to do anything or simply putting obstacles in your way so yeah we're gonna do it It has to stay for at least, let's say, 20 minutes. I don't have gloves here. I would have loved to, to do it. So pardon me for my hands. Tastes good. Here you have pickled onion. What you do with it is you add it to when you're eating rice products. So here is one. Thank you very much. Startup City speaking. Boa on the way.